Hello, welcome to Flory Models. Today we've got a book review for you. So, today we have Landscapes of War, uh, The Greatest Guide to Dioramas by Rodrigo Hernandez Carbos. Sorry, I'm terrible with names and sorry for destroying your name. Right, okay, as I said, uh, recently, especially myself, been getting right into dioramas, little bases, things like that. So, a couple of books like this are absolutely ideal. So, you can see, nice glossy book. I've got a little bit down in there. John paid uh, 15 50 for this one, because actually this is John Buller's book. Apologies for reflections on this, we're trying to do it as much. A little bit about, about the author, and then working our way through. So if we just flick through, as you can see, we're talking about the basics, um, setting it all up, obviously different ways of doing it into the cork method, okay? And actually making and uh, manipulating stuff, which is what is lovely about this particular book. It's not just a one, two, miss a few, and it's all done. This is showing you detailing every single step of the way of how to do it. Talking about, obviously, tree trunks. You know, something as simple as doing a tree trunk, okay? And making your own one, and going right the way through and detailing it. And as you can see, it's a gorgeous book very nice and clear photos very easy to understand and follow okay and then obviously we've got about painting uh, pathways things like that uh, and different techniques and everything for doing it okay which is a must admit it's something i've looked at for my little diorama i'm doing at the moment okay so as you can see some great work down in there and then obviously how to expand on it by adding sort of you know your stones uh, and all those areas like that okay as you can see beautifully done talking about foliage and putting those on tree roots as you can see and everything as you can see like that and it's very easy to follow as we would say simple techniques washes dry brushing things like that to bring out that detail but as you can see it goes on and on if we jump ahead a little bit you can see other things talking about obviously plant life uh, adding that to your diorama okay and making it look all natural and we've got some great illustrations of showing the actual full diorama once it's completed as well and then it talks about individual areas of it and then obviously you know reference work as well which is very very important as you can see so looking through talking about different areas things like that and as I say some great references of stones moss growing on it and then obviously we're down to this one which is obviously a little bit more in depth um, talks obviously about layering up to make up your, you know, your different ones clay forming things like that putting it through and I say this is you know the sort of the top one if you like because there's quite a bit into this it's all the different techniques been put together working our way right the way through okay so as you say you can have it almost as a summer event like this okay and as you move on you can see adding more water scapes and things like that and then obviously into snow the winter effects of using sort of you know different things right the way through as you see lots of little techniques very wintry now okay right the way through and again reference pictures of icicles flowing water stones uh, and things like that as you go the right way through and then obviously you know at the end of the day the sand effects water effects as you can imagine as you go through so as you can see it's a fabulous book very very interesting some great work on this one talks about all see all the materials he's used uh, and everything else like that and then this is a lovely little one to end here which is the little uh, aqua vehicle working its way through and talking about reeds plant life uh, and all those things like that. So as you can see, absolutely fantastic, beautiful book. I definitely think it's well worth the money. As I say, you get books, some of them are a little bit samey, shall we say, uh, and it's just almost like a repop of somebody else's book um, with better photos or something. This one's a little bit different because a lot of the techniques in here I haven't actually seen before. So it's a little bit of a refreshing way of seeing it. So there we go, Landscapes of War, uh, The Greatest Guide to Your Dioramas, an absolute fantastic book and well worth the money.